So hi and welcome to this video. So uh, today, or today, we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, moving on to the next step in making our own DNS server, and then being also able to uh, make our own domain name extension. So the first thing I'm going to do in this video is uh, we're going to ignore Putty for a second, and we're just going to click on Start, and we're going to go to Control Panel. Then inside Control Panel, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click up here and search, and I'm type in Adapter. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to View Network Connections. Then I'm going to right click on the wireless network connection. And what this will bring up is the wireless network connection properties. What I want to do is I want to go down to Internet Protocol version 4 and I want to click on properties. This is where we change our computer's DNS to allow us to connect to our DNS server and use our custom domain. So uh, in the alternate DNS server, I'm just going to type in 8 space 8 space 8 space 8. And what this is, this is the address for Google's public DNS server. Um, this is just Google's public DNS because if we just use our own DNS, we would only be able to connect to uh, websites on our own server. We wouldn't be able to connect to anything else. So uh, we need to have uh, an alternative DNS, which is the uh, Google uh, public DNS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the IP address of our, um, our server and I'm going to click on uh, the properties again. I'm just going to paste it in. So now our computer is going to be uh, told to connect to our uh, DNS server. So if I click OK and I click Close, you shouldn't actually see any difference. If I uh, try to go to, um, I don't know, highcode.org, uh, it should still connect. I might just uh, take a second. Yeah, there it is. It still connects. Uh, everything is exactly as it was. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, we're going to go to a directory called uh, etc slash bind, which is the bind folder uh, that gets created when we installed it. Then I'm going to type ls, which means list. So uh, I mean, well, it just means like list doesn't show all the files um, uh, within uh, the bind folder. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create. I'm going to use the make dir command, and I'm going to type in uh, zones because everything every time you make um a new domain extension or a new website or whatever, the DNS, uh, in the DNS, it'll have its own zone file. So then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, open up uh, this this file here, named.conf.local. So I'm just going to type in nano, which is a text editor built into a uh, terminal, because this is exactly sort of what we're using at the moment. We're just uh, using Putty to be able to see it. So we're typing in name uh, nano space named.conf.local. And then we're going to click enter and it's going to bring up the file. And you can't click on this file as you can see, you have to use the arrow keys. Uh, okay, so I'm moved the arrow, I've moved the uh, green pointer down here. And this is where I'm going to start writing um, uh, the different uh, things in our zone file. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create something called a zone, which is uh, where the address, or where the um, website is actually, or the uh, DNS information for the website is actually stored. So instead of creating it for a website, we're going to be creating it for an extension. So uh, to do that, what we have to do is we just type in the word zone. Then we type in, uh, inside uh, double quotes, we type in the name of our extension. So I'm going to do .hc, so my extension is going to be uh, .hc. And then we use uh, curly brackets, uh, and we surround the zone uh, with curly brackets. So everything in between uh, them is uh, inside the zone. Just like a function, sort of, in PHP. Uh, also, you have to, at the end of the uh, second curly bracket, you put a semicolon. Then what we want to do is we want to type in uh, type master. This just makes the uh, zone file authoritative. So this means this is what we need to do to make it work uh, with the uh, extension or else it won't work. Then what we want to do is we want to type in file and then we give it a file location, which is the location of our actual zone file. This is just a reference to the zone file so that the uh, server knows where it is. So then what we want to type in here is slash etc slash bind slash zones, which is the folder we just created. And then we're going to create a new zone called hc.db. Uh, that's what I'm going to create, but just call it whatever you want. Uh, just for simplicity, I'm calling it the same as my actual extension. And then you have to use the .db extension at the end of it. Then what we have to do is we have to create a, a thing called a reverse zone. Uh, because in DNS, you can also, instead of just from going from IP to, uh, I mean, from going uh, from the domain name to the IP address, you can also go backwards. So you can use an IP address to work out the domain name. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the same thing again, create a zone, or a zone reference or whatever. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to type, this is a lot more specific. So uh, 
what happens is you type in, uh, I'm just going to do it like this, 3.2.1 dash in, um, whoops, not dash, dot in dash a ddr dot arpa. Uh, and the 321, we have to change that in a second. But what happens is uh, we get our IP address, which is this. And I, I'm actually just going to put it above it. So I'm going to move this here. So uh, what we have to do is we have to, here's our IP address uh, listed the way it should be. And then the way, reason I said 321 is because uh, we have to do the uh, IP address backwards from the back to the uh, front. So uh, what this means is you uh, type in uh, 141.9. Uh, dot two four three, and that's uh what we have to uh put our our that's the name we have to give uh our zone file, and then what we have to do is we have to uh, go underneath, and we also have to do a uh, type <coughs> sorry a uh, type master, then we have to uh, specify the file location, and then uh, underneath this uh oh no we actually don't know more uh we have to uh. Give it the file name. So it's also it's the same thing again. Slash etc. Slash bind. Slash zones. Slash and then this time it's rev dot um one four one dot nine dot two four three. Obviously, you want to change this to your IP address of your server or droplet or whatever. I mean, you don't even have to use DigitalOcean. It's just um. They're a really good company for uh, hosting, so I think they're good, and I'm gonna use it. So that's uh, our um, our uh, reference file set up. So what we want to do now is we want to copy this, and we want to click Control X and click Yes. I mean, press Y and then press Enter, and that'll save the file. Then what we want to do is we want to uh, CD into the Zones directory, and then what we want to do is we want to um, uh, create a new file, so we'll just type in nano and then we uh, create the uh, file that we uh, referenced in the last one. So if I press the up arrow and I go back to uh, nano name.conf.local, uh, I actually have to put uh, a dot dot forward slash here uh, because we're in the zones directory instead of just the bind directory. So if I hit enter now, it'll tell us what the file we called hc.db. So now if I go uh, nano hc.db. This will create a new file. Whenever I save it, it actually hasn't created it yet. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to say a dot t or I mean not dot dollar sign ttl one h, which means one hour. So that means what time to live one hour. And what that just means is um that whenever I make a change to this on the uh, DNS server, it'll be cached for one hour and then it'll have to be changed. So I'm just going to and then the next thing underneath it is hc dot, and this is just uh, our extension name. And there's loads of stuff in this file that I. Uh, it probably won't make much sense, but you don't even need to worry about it. Just uh, copy what I do, and I'll uh, tell you about the important things you actually need to know about. So uh, the IN, uh, next thing we need to do is press, or leave some white space, so I just press tab. Then I typed in 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 capitals. Then I made another uh, tab, and then I type in SOA. And then I'm going to type server.hc. Uh, and then a dot actually afterwards. Uh, so just do what I do, and instead of HC, replace it with uh, your extension. Then what we want to do is type admin.server.hc. So what this basically say, is saying is this is the name server for the for the um, .hc um, uh, domain extension. And it, the name server is just this actual server we're creating here. This is called the name server. And then the admin.server.hc is actually an email address, but we have to use a dot there. So what the way it's interpreted, the way it's interpreted is uh, admin at server.hc. Uh, but it also doesn't have to be server.hc, you can use whatever you want, but I'm just going to keep it as uh, server.hc. Then you want to do is, to, is you want to open some parentheses, and in between them, there's a lot of uh, stuff here. You don't actually need to know what it does, it's just um, it's just required to make it work. So the first one is a timestamp, which is whenever you edit the file, you have to use a timestamp. So what I'm going to do is I have to type in 2013, which is the date. Then I have to type in 09, because it's September. Then I have to type in 29 because it's the 29th of September. And then I have to type in the edit number, which in my case is the first edit, so I type in 01. So that's what this number means. Um, and then underneath it, the next number, it doesn't matter, so just copy what I do. I'm just going to type in 28800. Uh, you can look these up on the internet to find out exactly what they do. Uh, and then 3600. 
Then I'm going to type in uh, 64, um, oops, uh, 604800. And then finally, I'm going to type in 38400. Uh, so after, this is actually the last thing. So that's the end of the things that uh, you don't need to know about, that you won't understand or whatever, because they're actually really awkward and weird to understand. So down here is a bit more, it's going to be a bit easier to understand. It's, um, we just type in our extension name, which in our case is dot hc or hc dot. Then we type in in space, I mean, uh, ha or tab, and then ns, which means name server, and then server dot hc dot. Then what we want to do is the, f the first, the next one we're going to do is we're going to type in, um, uh, server. Uh, and then we're going to type in in, and then we're going to type in a, and then we're going to type in our uh, IP address of a um, server. So in my case, I'm going to use my uh, the one I use for high code, which in my case is 192.81.210.96, uh, which is the address of the high code server. And I can check that uh, by just coming in here and pasting that in. And it might be 210.81. Okay, nope, that's it. It's uh, a1.210. So uh, now that we've done that, uh, this means that whenever I go to, whenever I type in server.hc into my web browser, uh, the uh, domain is going to take me to my website. And the final one I'm going to type in is just, uh, I don't know, test space in space a space 192.81.210.96. And this is just another domain name that we're going, you can also put these in external um, zone files, but for the simplicity of this tutorial, I'm going to keep them in the actual uh, domain extension zone file. Then we're going to hit Control X, Y, and then we're going to hit Enter to save it. And, um, okay, so unfortunately I've run out of time in this video, but in the next video, which is probably going to be the last one in this series, uh, we're going to be able to finish off the, um, the DNS server, and we're going to actually have something to show it for it, which is our uh, domain extension. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. I know you actually haven't seen the fruits of our labor yet, but uh, you will soon. So uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe and I'll see you next time.